I don't know how many are in here. Um, we'll kind of go through this fairly quickly because obviously time is of the essence. And I know you want to get to counter too. So a little fly action on here. There we're in Buccaneer. That's the first game of the year. We didn't run power in 2018. So these kids were new to power. So this is our first year running power with these kids. We don't install everything in S2A the first year. It's really, it's like almost a three-year install, if you want to be honest. Now, we'll show them everything pretty much, but we're not good at it all. So it takes years to build it. This is 21P power and not a whole lot of finesse right there. But look at that guard. He just skip pulls. He should be a little more square. And then on 11P power, if we don't make that C-gap call, the fullback has no kick responsibility. So I'm pulling a 210-pound guard and shoving a 250-pound fullback in the A-gap with him. So it's just a come home, boom, look at that. Just shove the whole damn pile about five yards. This is probably one of the most athletic teams we play. It's the same side power. We think that's a good power play. We, I mean, our kids kind of like, oh, well, coach, we should pop power. I'm like, no, it's a, it's a grinder. Four or five yards, four or five yards. It's just a, it's a character play for us. If we want to score, we'll do something else. See the on-call right there? And he knows. He knows that kid's been playing the contain. So watch him just wrong foot him and just stick him out there. Boop. That's coached. So now there's the hit and run double team. You can see the skip pull by my right guard right there, 66. He's a big old dancing bear. And he comes around the horn. I think he misses the linebacker. Yep, see it? He misses it. If he'd have, if he'd have fit his outside number, look at that. I mean, you're in grass. Free safety has to come get support. Now, you still get five yards, but we didn't block power right very many times. These guys are freaking good. They might win the state title next year. These guys are a semifinalist. This is a pretty good power play. That's out of rock. Hopefully we got an end zone cut of that. Yeah. So we probably made an on call. Yep. So there's your hit and run double team. There's your on call. Look at the guard damn near missing. Did you see that? Look at him. He's just about ready to piss me off again. And he's like, oh, I'm going to get yelled at. Hang on. Vroom. Now we got a corner trying to tackle a tailback. That's a good thing. It, I mean, we weren't great at it. I'm going to be honest. It's not, it's not what we did. We spent way more time on zone because we wanted to get good at zone. And power was kind of a late intro thing for us. And so these are kind of ugly. You don't see us get downhill very well. Um, when we come back and do this next year, we'll be much, much better at it. Our right tackle has really slow feet. So you see there, he doesn't get his head across. If you're going to do that, then just friggin' down block his ass. 65 gets his outside number. Now, who's wrong here? Who? Please say it, because he's always wrong, because I'm always pissed at him. The running back. I'm like, and he, he's that guy, because he's a 4.0 GPA kid. So he'll go, well, now, coach, the guard technically blocked one and a half millimeters too far. Left. I'm like, dickhead, look, OK? He is getting the hell whipped out of him. He's pulling around, which is an unnatural thing to do, and he is smashing this linebacker in the face. Do you not see grass right there? Oh, well, do you want me to cut it up? No, I'd like you to not run towards their end zone. Please bounce it and run sideways. God. And it was like this a lot. And so what we are going to do with him is we're going to put a cone in the B-gap this year. And I'm going to say, if you ever touch that cone, just run home because it'll be shorter for you to just run home than the amount of conditioning we're going to do. Yes. It, it was last year because if zone got 15 minutes of a period, power got five. So they were in that zone slide and glide world, and there ain't no damn slide and glide to power. There's bam. And so he wasn't that guy. And what I've done is I've told him, Always cut back on power. Run to the A-gap and always cut back. And he's like, well, what if it's full? I said, trust me, you'll bounce it. Always cut back. Because if he would do that right here, 
we're going to get 15 yards. I mean, look at that. That's beautiful. Now, the tackle kind of sucks, and he's looking kind of terribly unathletic, but he still got the job done. It wasn't a thing of beauty, but he got the job done. I'll watch one or two more. This is Bishop Kelly High School. This is probably pound for pound the best football program in Idaho. Well, second best. Look at these cats. They do this all the time. Like, you're trying to figure out what front they're in. They're never in the same front. And they're a great example of why we tell our kids, don't judge the book by its cover. Because they'll never be, they'll line up an odd and be an over, then they'll be an under, then they're being plug. So now they're an over. So look at my kids. My kids have just made, now what should they make? I think I'd make an on call. But they didn't. Because we came back, we watch film every Tuesday. So we have a big screen in our weight room and we bring them in. We don't lift on Tuesdays, we watch the film. So we install the game plan Monday for the next opponent. We watch the old film and the new film all on Tuesday. And I'm chewing their ass, right, in the weight room. And they said, well, coach, we doubled. And I said, no, it should be an on-call. And they said, well, why is that an on-call? I said, well, you made it an on-call, didn't you? And he said, yeah, because he went inside. But they didn't know they were right. They were accidentally right. And I'm not in love with 65's pull. I actually think he should miss this guy. You see why? Like he should pull so damn tight into that A-gap that he should almost miss that kid. He should probably end up blocking the official because he's so tight and he's not. He's a little too wide. Now it works out because he traps the kid, but the running back should run inside the hash mark. If he'd run inside the hash mark, he's not real fast. So I'll say score to make him feel a little better by himself, but he should get a lot more yards if he'd get vertical right now. Yeah. Yeah. If, yeah. So great point. If he's same side, Matt, he'd just run. We tell our kids, if the ball's on the hash and we run power, same side, run down the hash marks till you hit the end zone. We call it the G's. Because right there's G's painted down there. He said, run to the G's. That's a pretty damn good power play, though, for a bunch of kids that don't run it a lot. I mean, we got better at it. There's a good A-gap. I mean, that guard is burying his head in that A-gap. This is what tells me, unofficially, we're going to have a shot this year. Because these guys, and I'm not just saying this because I'm Catholic, um, these guys are the best football team coaching-wise in the state of Idaho. Now, they would probably lose to Rocky. Rocky Mountain High School is a big, big, like almost 3,000 enrollment school in Boise. But these guys, coaching-wise, they do a great job. I mean, they got 180-pound offensive and defensive linemen. They've won four of the last nine state titles. They are damn well coached. And so what they're doing is they're almost overthinking themselves. And our kids are dealing it. Look at that. There's my hit and run. Now, look at that guard. He doesn't freak out, does he? He knows that his big old self is not going to get all the way around that double team. So he's like, screw it. I'm going to fit the A-gap right now. But the back is sliding and gliding, and I'll be damned. Cut back. Look at that. Ten yards. I just can't help but be a smart ass when this happens, because I'll play this like 37 times. And I'll be like, what an epiphany. You cut back, and it worked. Like I've